Hey guys, so for this video, I'm going to showcase three of the most useful creative courses in the game that I can guarantee will instantly help you improve. Now, I'm sure you've seen tons of videos like these that show off the same boring old maps. All the edit courses end up being the same, the aim trainers end up being copies of Kovacs, and there's no real variety. That's why I decided to choose three extremely unique and advanced courses that focus on one specific aspect of your gameplay. So instead of a boring old aim trainer for example, we're going to look at a game sense map, a shotgun course, and an edit course designed to help you master the confirm edit on release setting. Be aware, all of these training courses require you to practice them a certain way, meaning it's extremely important that you watch the entire video through. Usually, I'll admit, you can get away with just looking at the courses and figuring them out yourselves. Not this time though. These courses need a thorough explanation to make sense, but once you do learn them, they'll be the best creative maps you've ever used. So with that being said, let's start with the Game Sense map. This practice map was created by a YouTuber named Machine Head, and it's essentially a big training facility for peaks and edits, as well as understanding why they work, hence the game sense. As soon as you load in, loot up and stand under the automatic reload enabler so you don't have to reload every 5 seconds. Then you have the option to choose from a bunch of preset peaking drills. Everything from even ground to low ground and high ground. We'll start with the even ground and right away you can tell it's not like many other maps you've ever used. There's all these random edit structures on one side, there's a big hole in the wall on the other, and only a couple of targets. Don't panic, because it's actually pretty simple. The large holes you see are exits that contain booster paths to send you all the way back to where you spawned. And those edit structures are basically examples of what edits you should be practicing for that specific drill. Since this is even ground peaks, you can do a half ramp edit and practice both a jump peak and a right hand peak. You can also do a window edit, which calls for a right hand peak, or top row edit, which calls for a jump peak. Basically, you want to make all the edits behind you and practice right hand peaks or jump peaks with them on the moving target. You guys are always asking me how to take less damage in fights, and the answer is to start making smarter peaks. Well, guess what? That's the whole point of this map and all these drills. The hope is that anytime you make an edit, you'll automatically go for the optimal peak rather than an unoptimal one you're probably making right now. Next are your half ramp edits that you can use to peak with a wall. You'll notice there are two targets this time, so you can actually reset the ramp edit, then do the same thing in the other direction and repeat for however long you want. Moving on to the low ground peak section, and it's very similar to the even ground one. There's different targets and then edit structures that you should be using to practice. The first is the classic floor cone double edit for a jump shot. The second is another jump peak using a ramp and a slightly different edit. Lastly, the third peak is when you're double ramping up, you're able to half edit the ramp in front of you and pull out your AR for this crouch peak on your opponent who has high ground. I don't really see too many players use this, but it's actually very useful if your opponent is trying to shoot you down. The final part of the low ground peaks is this room that simulates when your opponent is above you on a cone. What you can do is either jump out, take the shot and catch yourself or fake a ramp one way then go the other and take a shot very simple and straightforward now let's look at some simple high ground peaks starting with one i learned from machine head what you do is instead of ramping over your opponent and editing straight down into them a safer alternative is to edit your ramp and floor in half so you get this sweet right hand jump peak combo i've been practicing this one a ton and i can already tell how useful it's gonna be Next one is a simple edit and cone peak from height, then after that, the same thing for when you double ramp and floor over your opponent. By the way, you want to both crouch peak and reset the floor, because relying on just resetting the floor is not enough to completely protect yourself in this situation. Second to last peak is the basic ramp peak for when you're a few levels above someone. Just strafe to the side, uncrouch, get your shot in, and then do the same thing to duck out and back 
back to cover. The final drill are these falling down peaks where you want to build immediately after the shot and then go for some follow up peak that you've just been practicing. All in all, that is the Game Sense map by Machine Head which I think is one of the most helpful creative courses ever made. Making smart edits and optimal peaks is a really overlooked aspect of Fortnite. So if you're struggling to win fights and not take a lot of damage while doing it, then go and play this course right now. The next course we're going to look at is the edit on release course made by Can Duck. The way it's set up is that each drill comes in twos. So these two are the same, these two are the same, these two are the same, and the pattern continues. None of it is too advanced, as again, it's all designed to help you learn and master edit on release. This does not mean you can't use double edit keybinds or even single ones, but if I find out you're using a single edit key and not confirm edit on release with it, I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna spend Thank you. In game of course. Seriously though, my advice is to practice all the edits you actually use. Simple combinations like half ramp and wall edits or half cone and ramp edits. These are all realistic combos you'll have to make and relearn with edit on release. On top of that advice, make sure you're switching up the edits you're trying out. Don't just edit the ramp or wall one way. These edit drills are insanely long and repetitive, which means it's up to you to practice different edits and spice it up. Maybe my favorite part of this map is the Mongrel Classic section. As you guys should know, the Mongrel Classic is a tiny bit harder to do with edit on release because you can't hold down your left click the entire time. What you need to do is make the edit, let go, then build the ramp. However, it's not that much slower. You can actually move and click your ramp earlier than you could before without edit on release. So it only ends up being a couple milliseconds slower. However, getting used to the timing and letting go will take some practice, which is exactly why Can Duke put this in. To sum this edit map up, it's there to help you get faster at editing, especially if you use confirm edit on release. Remember, this new setting is all about mastering the timing and letting go of left click as soon as you finish selecting all the tiles. The better you get at that, the faster you can edit, and the closer you'll look to maniacs like Raider 464. So for everyone asking me how to get better and faster with confirm edit on release, this course is all you need and more. The last map I wanted to show is my updated shotgun course that I made about 9 months ago now. I honestly was not going to change anything because I'm lazy until I saw a mongrel using this last week. So what I did was I updated the guns so you now have the option to choose from a gold pump or a gold tack. I also added a scar just in case you want another weapon to hold. To quickly highlight the best parts of it and how you should run through it, Anytime you see a metal wall or ramp or cone, basically anything metal, you want to edit it. Behind them should be a target that you're also going to want to hit. Another thing is that these targets can be difficult to break, which is why I gave you an AR if you want to finish them off. They only have 50 HP, but their hitboxes are very small. The benefit of that though is that they're amazing for training and improving your aim. My aim was pretty butt cheeks while doing this, but if you watch someone like Mongrel, he can easily destroy all of them without even trying. Outside of that and the 90 part, most of it is the exact same and pretty self explanatory. Just follow the path while also doing your best to destroy the targets and that's pretty much it. I've seen many copies of this course, but nothing quite as intricate and detailed as my own. Hashtag not a brag. Plus, Mongrel uses it, so you know it's gotta be good and useful. Overall though, those were three of the most useful creative courses I could find. If I were you guys, I would definitely spend most of my time in the Game Sense one, since it's so insanely unique and helpful. That does not mean the other two courses aren't, but Machine Head's map is truly something special. If you guys enjoyed the video, then do be sure to drop a like, 
subscribe to the channel, and to turn on post notifications. Shout out to everyone using code Jerrion. I'm thinking about doing more cool challenges, like the $100 floating edit one we just did, so let me know down below of some good ideas. Otherwise, that's it from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.